What's up guys, it's your boy What's up guys, it's your boy Knockout360 here with another video for you guys. So today we're gonna talk about the 2020 Dodge Cuda. I said Cuda, not Challenger, not Charger, Cuda, C-U-D-A. For all you guys that are familiar with the Dodge and the Plymouth and the Chrysler line, the Cuda has always been a muscle car that has been in the uh, the Hemi family. Uh, came with the 5.7, if I'm not mistaken, back in the day. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, guys. But I think that they got rid of the uh, the Cuda back in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s. They actually phased that car out, just like they did the Charger and the Challenger. Well, rest assured, they're bringing that back. In 2020, Dodge has announced that they're going to go ahead and bring out the Dodge Cuda. And it is going to come in the SRT variant. And from what we understand, and when I say we, I'm talking about me, it should be coming in the 800 horsepower option as well. 800 horsepower. So we're talking about demon power now. Um, from what I understand about the car itself, uh, if you know anything about the Cuda and what it looked like originally, the original Cuda, it's always been the little brother as it pertains to the Charger and the Challenger, certainly smaller than the Charger, uh, a little bit smaller than the Challenger. It's going to be quite a bit bigger than the Dart, so I don't want to get it confused. It's not like a, a small type of car. It's not a small Dart-like car, so I would assume it's probably going to be the Dart, the Cuda, and then the Challenger. And from what I understand, it's going to share some of the same parts and internal components as the Challenger, as far as the architecture is concerned on the outside of it, and the, as well as on the inside. Uh, the only thing that I think that they're going to change here, I'm not sure if it's going to come out in the 6.2 liter variant or the 6.4 liter variant. 6.4, as you guys know, is what comes with the, the Scat Packs, the Daytonas, the SRT 392s, basically everything between the RT and the Hellcat. That whole range right there, the Daytonas, the TA, the 392, the all those come in a 6.4 liter. And then, of course, the Hellcat comes in a 6.2. The Demon comes in a 6.2 as well, I believe. Um, we're not quite sure on that. A lot of this information is kind of speculation at this point. Um, but they have gone ahead and released information that they are going to release the Dodge Cooter. Um, 800 horsepower. It's going to have a lighter frame, a smaller body, which is something that a lot of Dodge guys have wished for with the Charger and the Challenger and we've never gotten is a smaller body, a lighter frame, something to, you know, from a um, aerodynamic perspective, something that works with all that horsepower. I mean, if you look at the horsepower that our cars put down, I mean, from the Demon to the Hellcat 840 to 707 to the new Red Eye 797, there's no way that anything on the road should be beating us. But yet we do get beat from time to time. I mean, they got the, the ZR1s right at 757. You've always got your ZL1s, although the ZL1s come at like 7, 680, 660, something like that horsepower wise. They really don't pose a threat. But what I'm saying is those cars are so much lighter and so much more aerodynamic that they, even though they're maybe not as powerful as our cars just because they get a better jump off the line or because from an aerodynamic perspective they're working better on the road than our cars they typically get us i mean you look at a corvette zero one i'm not sure if you guys have ever seen one up close but i mean it looks like a knife it looks like something that was built to cut i mean the front end of that car looks like something that was built to just cut through the wind so at 757 it's going to do just that every single time smoke the shit out of you and uh, that's what that car is built for. So hopefully with the Cuda, we'll finally get something that we've been asking for. A lighter, stronger, faster Dodge, right? Um, they're calling it the Dodge slash Chrysler Cuda. I'm not sure who's going to put their name on it, whether it's Dodge or Chrysler. As you all know, Dodge and Chrysler is brother and brother right there. Or sister and sister or brother and sister. Have you look at it, man. But they are going to come out with the 2020 Dodge Cuda and it is going to come in the SRT variant. So I'm assuming if it's going to come in the SRT variant, then it's probably going to come in the RT variant and then the SXT and so on and so forth. Um, whether it's going to come in a four door option or not, I'm not sure. We don't know yet. Uh, if you're familiar with the old Cudas, obviously it was two door. The Charger, Challenger and the Cuda back in the day, the three C's of Dodge all were two door uh, muscle cars. And then, of course, Dodge made the Charger a four door uh, option and the Challenger a two door option. So I'm assuming that the Cuda, being that it's a lighter frame, um, it may actually come in that two door option. I don't see why they would have another four door sedan. There's really no place for it to be quite honest with you. Um, I think Charger's got that line pretty much, you know, um, on lock as far as the four door sedan market is concerned. I can't see anybody going uh, uh, over a four door Cuda uh, over a Charger. You know what I'm saying? It just wouldn't make sense. So more than likely it's going to stay two doors and be kind of like a something bigger than the Dart but smaller than the Challenger right there in between those two cars. Um, 
we don't know what the exterior is going to look like it's very early in the process a lot of speculation it is set to or slated to come out in 2020 from that's from that's what i've been seeing as far as the the blogs and the uh, online forums are concerned uh that it looks like it's coming out in 2020 so we've got about another year year and a half to wait here um i think there's going to be great uh i think that it could be a situation to where we're kind of oversaturating the market again between the Charger and the Challenger, I mean, those cars are, you know, performance wise, they're on par with one another, but they offer so much, you know, uh, so much more that's different from one another. With the Charger, you're getting a four door sedan that can go 700 plus horsepower. It's got a huge trunk. It's got a back seat that folds down. If you're that kind of person that has a family and there's a likelihood that your sedan may be used for more than just racing, Maybe you're hauling some things. Maybe you're going to the store and picking things up. The Charger fits that mode. And with the two-seater Challenger, that's your sports car right there. That's your, I'm a single man, or I got a girlfriend. It's just me and her, or it's just me. And I want to have a fun car and have a fun time. That's what the Challenger is, you know? But it also serves a different purpose because it does have a relatively large trunk. And um, I don't think the, the back seat folds down in that one, actually, with that being two doors. But, you know, that's your sports car. And then you've got your more practical car in the Charger. So I don't know where the Cuda is going to fit in. Um, from a performance perspective, considering it's slated to be smaller, uh, lighter, uh, more aerodynamic, maybe dodge can turn that into a track more of a track focused car kind of like a camaro z01 type you know 800 horsepower with 800 horsepower i'm not sure if they're going to make that a track focused car that sounds like another drag racing car to me but um dodge has clearly got the drag racing market on lock like nobody's messing with dodge on that um you know with that being said maybe it'll be more of a track focused car considering it'll be lighter and probably smaller a little more aerodynamic hopefully they'll have a more aerodynamic build on it as opposed to something like the challenger where the front end is just a brick right something a little more lower to the ground kind of more um you know just kind of that sleek look to it something like a corvette something that can get under all that wind and just get through it um that's the only way that i can really see that cuda fitting in because i can't see someone who's always been a charger or a challenger fan going to the cuda if they wanted a strictly you know a muscle car something that's going to go in a straight line although the cuda back in the day was a straight line muscle car um for quite some time but you know you never know what dodge will do with it these days and times i don't think they're going to go the four-door route i think it's going to stay two i think it's going to stay that kind of sports car type um automobile and it honestly may be a track car i think dodge is ready to get into the track market i think that you know chevy uh with the corvette and the camaro you know uh they've got the track on lock but at the same time those cars are pretty good on the track as well you know um especially the court especially the camaro you know camaro used to have what the z28 which was a strictly a track focus or a drag racing focused car so you know they tried to branch into the drag racing market but they've got the track racing the track market um on lock and i think that's the case with dodge now they, they may be wanting to branch out into the track market i mean i thought that i read something that they were actually going to I actually I actually have, have it here right in front of us so yeah it's going to be like the smaller production than its cousin the challenger and it will share some of its architecture they're saying that the chassis uh in the setup will be unique and deserving of the cuda badge so it's going to be unique from what we've seen with the charger and the challenger so once again i mean what haven't we seen with the charger and the challenger something that's light and agile and can take those corners and can perform on the track the same way it does on the drag strip right um they don't know whether or not it's going to be 6264 uh supercharger with an updated gear ratio 800 plus horsepower uh rumors that it's going to be running on e85 gas you know what i mean um and of course they're talking about the srt cooter suspension so the suspension is going to be unique to what we've seen with the other cars as well so i mean everything as far as i'm concerned kind of leads you to believe that it may be a track focused car or a track centered car or a car that a little more able to be on the track than the big you know challenger and chargers that we have before us today but you know it's all speculation uh they haven't released anything official obviously dodge hasn't confirmed this but you know this is just kind of third party independent sources but you know with that being said they're pretty much coming out with it i'm pretty sure that they're going to i've heard a lot about it and i think that they're going to go ahead and pull the trigger on the cuda and just go ahead and bring it out but you know you never know you know 
Um, with that being said, guys, I really appreciate you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more content. You know, um, if you like what I'm doing and you like the content that I'm putting out, or if you have any, you know, suggestions that you'd like to give me, I'm always open to that as well. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment and talk to your boy. Once again, a video like this is kind of one of those open forum videos. I just want to see where you guys are at as far as your head is concerned. So talk to your boy. Um, I'll see you in the next one, man. Take it easy.